Welcome back to another LibGDX development tutorials. In today's video, we'll be talking about Scene2D UI widgets. So if we go down to the LibGDX documents, I will have a link in the description. We're going to be showing the basic widgets that you can add towards your UI. If you want to make custom fonts, I will have a video on screen so you can watch that. So a text field and text area is a box where you put text in. Here we define a new text field by equaling new text field and passing the string and a skin object for your UI. Final results look like this. As you can see, it's a box where we can put text in. And then if we want to add more characters, we can do so and it will actually wrap around within the field. So we can define a label just like this. For here, we set the alignment to center so to make sure that the text is centered in the label. As you can see, this is without, you can see it's just the font being rendered than before. So you can really just add towards your preference of your UI. Next, if we want to create a checkbox, we can do checkbox equals new checkbox and then put in the text that we want or leave it blank and then the skin object here we get the image of the checkbox and we set it to scale 21 if we check it we can see there's a check mark that appears inside the checkbox and we can also uncheck it to define a list we do list equals new list and we pass in the skin object inside the constructor list also has a defined method called set items where you can pass your items based off your generic value you can also pass in a array if you would like to do it that way and then finally we add it to our table as you can see we have a list where we can select our items and you also have different state and different textures of when you hover over your items select box is act from your list and then we add the items same method as before again you can add an array if you want to then we set the selected item to be aligned in the center where we can hover over the item and we can select from the list a drop down list menu will appear so we can select the item that we want so you can actually have a longer drop down list by the skin file which if you want to learn more about skins i will have a video up on screen and this right here is actually very useful for you your UI so you can select certain items from your list. We define a simple progress bar by doing progress bar equals new progress bar. So the parameters of this constructor, if we take the first value will be the minimum and the maximum progress for the progress bar. This right here is also the step, which is the third value on how much you want to increase the progress. And the Boolean sets whether if you want horizontal or vertical. And finally, we pass in our skin object. The results for the progress bar looks something like this. Again, you can customize it to what you want with the skin object, but you can see that the progress is actually growing within our bar. This is very useful if you want to make a loading screen or anything that has any progress for your application. Now, I will have a video up on screen if you guys want to check that out, and that way you guys can learn about button and text button. All right, everyone, that wraps up everything in today's video. I will have a link in the description for the GitHub repository as well as a link towards the widgets for scene2d ui and i also will have a video on screen if you want to install libgx if you're new to this all right have a good one